Over 1,000 Indian students are now evacuated as Bangladesh is currently experiencing a widespread unrest, prompting the government to take drastic measures. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's office has declared a nationwide curfew and deployed military forces to restore the order as soon as possible. The decision came after violent clashes erupted over government job allocations, which has been going on for over three weeks now. The immediate trigger for the escalation was a prison attack, resulting in the release of numerous inmates. In response, the authorities has now banned all public gatherings, a first since the protest began. Despite the efforts to disrupt the rally organization through an internet shutdown, clashes between the police and protesters continued throughout Dhaka. Meanwhile, the death toll from the protest still remains uncertain with the various sources reporting different figures. Some media outlet claims 39 individuals have been killed, where other reports are also claiming approximately 105 fatalities. The U.S. Embassy in Dhaka has reported over 40 deaths and hundreds to possibly thousands of injuries across Bangladesh. They describe the situation as extremely volatile, warning of spreading of protest and violent clashes throughout the country. These protests, which began as a student discontent over quota for government jobs, is now growing into a nationwide unrest. The situation is now exacerbated by the high youth unemployment inflation and the dwindling foreign reserves in Bangladesh. The unrest has also revived historical divisions within the country. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League has labelled the protesters as Razakar, a term for wartime collaborators further inflaming the tensions. The protests are surely going to have far-reaching effect, even leading to violence in London, which has a significant Bangladeshi community. In addition to the physical unrest, Bangladesh is also experiencing disruption in internet and international calls. Several Bangladeshi news website and TV channels are also facing outage and failed updates. Key government websites, including those of the central bank and PM office, are reportedly hacked with messages denouncing government actions. Opposition figures, activists and student leaders are reportedly being detained, according to Tariq Rahman of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party. However, the media is currently unable to independently verify these claims. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.